right guys, well welcome to the channel again. Um, today you can see I have three watches here. I have my Rolex Submariner No Date, the Baltic Aquascape uh, Bronze Blue Gilt, and my newest purchase, the Marlow um, GMT. Now, you'll notice that all three of these watches are at different um, times. Now, I set these about three or four days ago all at the same time, and uh, I'll just tell you now, if you look here, the time on the, the iPhone says 10.17. You know, we're pretty close over here on the Rolex. The Rolex does uh, keep time pretty good, so I almost rarely have to reset that, and if I do, it's just minor. Now, you see the Baltic Aquascape is a little fast here, um, and again, this is just after about two or three days, and look at the Marlowe. It's like uh, almost like 45 minutes fast. It's about 40 minutes fast. So I, I love this watch. I did a review about this. I'll post a, a link to it up here. I absolutely love this watch. I think it's a beautiful watch. It fits on my wrist nicely. I love the colorway of the watch. Um, but as you can see, it doesn't take time. It doesn't keep time uh, fast. So I contacted the company. I said, you know, listen, it's the point of a watch is to keep time. And this thing's, you mean, it gains like 10 to 12 minutes every day. So this is not good. So they immediately responded to me and they said, you know, I think your watch is magnetized. And so what you have to do is you got to get a, a compass and a demagnetizer and go from there now so i ordered this on amazon this is a compass and this is a demagnetizer it only cost me like 13 dollars um so today we're going to see are they in fact magnetized and will this demagnetizer work because apparently if you magnetize the insides of these watches uh they will uh, speed up the, the, the accuracy of the time will be off so first thing we're going to do is I, I got this compass and supposedly if you take your watch and you put it next to the compass the compass will start to move so uh, we're going to use our rolex as the control group and you can see nothing's really happening around the compass now i've already tried this before and i bring the baltic and you can kind of see there's nothing really happening there uh, nor is there anything well you can see there's a little movement here um, of the compass. So there's definitely some movement of this watch when I take it near the compass. You see it stop, you take it over here. So it certainly seems like this one could be magnetized, but I'm not really getting an accurate reading on there. So I found out that you can actually get an app for your smart smartphone, um, which is a demagnet or a magnetization app. And um, I just download it here and I'm gonna recalibrate it here. Um, it just has a little countdown clock here. Now it should be recalibrated. Now what you do at this point is you're supposed to take like a metal object, like a screwdriver or something like that. And you have to search on the face of the phone to where the magnet is inside the phone. You can see I already have that little dot there because I found that the magnet is down around this area here. So, you know, you just kind of go around the phone. Your magnet could be in different places. I saw one where the magnet was like up in this area, but I found out that the magnet in my phone is kind of down around this area. So then what you do is you just double tap on that area to kind of show you where the magnet is. And now we're gonna see, are our watches in fact magnetized? So I'm gonna bring them over. We're gonna use the Rolex as the con control group because again, it's telling time the best. So we come over here and you can see that no matter where I go with it, it stays in the green, so no real magnetization there. So that's our control group. Rolex tells time fast. It's saying there's no real magnetization, so we know that that's probably good to go. So let's go with the Baltic. You can see that the Baltic is running a little fast. We're probably about 10 minutes fast over three days. So this is, looks like it's gaining about two to three minutes per day. And then I'm gonna bring it over here. And yep, we're looking over here. It's, it's definitely magnetized as I wave it over that, that magnet in the um, thing there. So this one is definitely magnetized. And let's check out the Marlowe and see where it goes. And yeah, you can see that the Marlowe is clearly magnetized as well. So, of our three watches, these two are definitely magnetized. You can tell that they're not keeping time accurately. The Rolex is, and it's showing no magnification, uh, mag <laughs> magnification, magnetization. So now we're gonna try the demagnetizer. I'm gonna tell you, I have not done this, so I don't know what the results are gonna be, but apparently what you do is you just kind of take your watch, you bring it over to the demagnetizer, and I suppose you, you hold this button for about 10 seconds, and then you gradually raise it up. Now you can see the, the magnetizer on the phone is going crazy. And then I'm gonna late raise it up here. So let's set that to the side and let's do the same thing here. And watch this thing, it's going crazy again here. All right. So we're gonna just hold this just above the demagnetizer. 
and then after a few seconds we're just gonna raise it up and pull this away and now we're gonna see are we in fact still magnetized let's recalibrate this um, so cal oh, yeah, calibrating find out where the magnet is it's right there the tap we already know where that is so again let's go back to here we'll use the Rolex as the control group yep same result as before and now let's have the Baltic uh, it's still magnetized there matter of fact it's more magnetized right, and this one is as well so maybe I have to take these straps off and maybe I have to leave it on there longer I haven't really done this so I'm gonna cut this and get back to you once we figure out how this is working All right, so after a couple of tries of using the demagnetizer and I had to kind of figure out how to use it, it finally got them uh, demagnetized. So again, we're gonna use the Rolex as our calibration here and we can see that, you know, just barely magnetized here. Even if I flip it around, you know, we get up in there a little bit. So that seems to be about normal. Um, same with the Baltic, we got this guy working pretty good here. So Baltic should be demagnetized and the Marlowe as well. So Marlowe still has some magnetization to it, but uh, we're able to get it up into, into normal limits there. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, this app was really cool because it works a lot better than this. Demagnetizer doesn't cost you much. So if you have an automatic watch and you find that it's running fast or the time is off, maybe it's magnetized. That's something I didn't know. And hopefully you gained something from this video. I'll see you on the next one. Talk to you soon, bye.